In this video, I'm going to walk through the lesson from Unit 5, Day 14, African American and Native American Contributions in World War II. Before I move past this uh, title card, I do want to talk about the materials and resources. So uh, it's a little confusing when you get to the student independent work portion because um, you will have some case studies that are in the student workbook. And uh, that comes from the paper materials uh, that were created by the DOE a few years ago. Um, and they're available online and, and, and all of these lessons reference those. But the case study number three, the one on Doris, Doris Miller, that's listed here, that one is not in the student workbook. That's from a compilation of other resources available on the internet. Um, so it's a little bit confusing. And then additionally, we're gonna notice that in the slides themselves, case study number three is actually listed first. So it's actually case study number one, and then Ray Elliott and Chester Nez are second and third. Um, so when you're doing this with students, you might choose to make some adjustments about the order, or you might um, demonstrate one and, and not the others, and have students do the others. Uh, just a quick note on this guidance for instruction. You have three case studies in this lesson, but you can have choose you can have students choose one case study to focus on, and then do a jigsaw or or another form of sharing to have students uh, learn from each other. So that's a great opportunity for student discussion. So um, history often glosses over the history of marginalized groups, in this case, African-Americans and Native Americans who made major contributions to World War II while also facing serious issues at home. And so this lesson is, this lesson is um, going to examine those, so, uh, a small number of those stories. And there's definitely more to dig into here. Um, and so if you have time and the, the ability um, with your students to have them explore deeper, I definitely recommend it. So the lesson starts off talking about the Double V um, campaign, which is pictured here, and which was a campaign, Double Victory campaign was the, um, was the effort for, of African Americans to improve conditions at home while also fighting overseas. Uh, this slide in the introduction model talks about the Navajo code talkers, and I do talk about um, this more in my mini lesson, uh, which is a student facing video also linked in to YouTube. And I, I go over this slide in the mini lesson as well. So if you want to use that uh, in your lesson, go for it. Otherwise, you can be sharing these with students. And that's it uh, for the for the model. Then the students will jump into their independent work. Um, they can you can do this in small groups. You can do this independently. That's up to you in the way that your classroom is set up. You have three case studies: Doris Miller, Ray Elliott, and Chester Nez. Um, Doris Miller fought on the um, fought on on a a ship in Pearl Harbor and uh, was awarded and decorated for his efforts. And Ray Elliott was a Tuskegee Airman and uh, Chester Nez was a Navajo code talker. Um, so it represents three different experiences from World War II. Um, for each slide, there is a document and the, uh, the chart. So I did put this into a Google Doc to keep the chart all in one place. And it, it plays out more like a web quest where students have to uh, go look at the go look at the links or look at these slides and then add to a single chart. You can have student, you can create a simpler version of this, um, or you could have students just answer their questions right here. And then each slide, they just keep adding to the chart. Um, so like I said before, the Dory Miller one, which is the first set here, uh, this is a primary source documents. So you have a variety of, of, of sources. Um, the, the, the crew list from his, from his, uh, ship the a political cartoon showing him manning the manning the guns um you have a lot of letters between kind of politically in in both recognizing his um his efforts and also um and also questioning the role of african americans in the military um and how much he has uh supported that effort um so again, in my mini lesson, I do demonstrate the, this this one for students, so you can check that out more or to see more detail. Um, and that's him getting getting awarded. 
he was also used in posters um, to to recruit for for the military during the war. Um, all right, then the the t the case study the second case study is on Ray Elliott, the Tuskegee Airman, and this one is basically straight from the the passport to social studies, and it, it is all uh, quotes from him, um, and that goes on for both him and uh, Chester Nez as well. And if you want students to just see these documents, they are linked into the student workbook and as just a single page instead of having it in the in the slides here. Um, and that's it for for the for the independent work. And then there's two wrap up slides, and there's no check in for this one. Check in check for understanding in this one. So you've got um, a wrap up in which students are thinking about the experience in the perspective of the person that they studied. <clears throat> this is a great way to have students just share out. Uh, speaking as the as the person that they that they were looking into um, and then there's a wrap-up question uh, which just synthesizes all that all the, all, of, all of the things they learned in the lesson um, and that is uh, the walkthrough for just the slides but if you want to check out the next video I'll walk through the Google Doc that I made